cut off that Oops. little bit. Don't want that. Don't want that. Be very careful. Did you not want to cut off the other end too? The other end it's hardly okay. have anything. All right. Usually it's the usually it's the end of when they tie them together. So you already have that. So it's about you know like cubes. It almost looks like what? I'm thinking that's yeah. way that's like twice as big. It's almost as, like cubes. That's huge, Dad. Okay. They are huge. No, they are not. Let me see. <laughs> they are not. No. I don't want anything smaller than that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Squeezing the water out of the mushroom. <laughs> because when, when we cook the... I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, Brandon hates mushrooms. <laughs> I don't mind watching her squeeze them. Just put it down, nothing in the, in the pot, nothing just in the pot. about medium high, just make sure it doesn't burn. It's and just then as, as, as it gets into this state, you can smell it yeah. before the they have no smell. Okay, so it it just brings out the flavor. Let me open up. Yeah. How many, so how the much rice. Is it? Two batches? Mm. Oh. Wait, there's hardly any water in it anymore. Well, because Oh, it's so I hot. see. Yeah. You rinse it and then put your using your cooking or your drinking water, fill it two inches above the rice. Just stick your finger on the top of the rice fat in it and measure about two things uh, two inches water above it and put one tablespoon of salt. Mm -hmm. So that it has a little flavor but not salty. Okay, so and just just let it at the time. You know when you wake up in the morning, it looks wow, not enough water, mm -hmm. but, but that's okay. It's no more. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I I use um, oil and garlic, and then uh, when the garlic is hot, then I put the mushroom in, and then I add uh, the light soy sauce and oyster sauce. You cooked it in this pot? Yeah, I cooked it in this pot. And then remember simmer, there's simmer, a bubble bubble. Bubble. Yeah, there's a, a lot time. of uh, water that I told you. Mm -hmm. Remember we squeezed mm -hmm. the water, mm -hmm. but I, 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 I drain it with the uh, filter it. Filter it mm -hmm. so that the oil. You know, just paper towel would do. Before mm -hmm. cooking or huh? before cooking it or after? No, after no, I stir I it stir fry it. Instead uh, of water you preserve right. the flavor. When 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 this um after you put the soy sauce and the oyster sauce, so we kind of turn a little bit uh, brown, and then um, then when you look at it, it look nice, and then you add the water, and then you simmer it for one hour uh, until it's totally the water's gone. So how do you know how much soy oh. sauce and? <laughs> oh my gosh! Chinese style. Chinese style. Oh my gosh! Brandon will know. You no, you just put it, you just put enough. You know a little bit. But you don't want that to be uh, over salty. Leftover juices were used? There's from, the dry, from the dry shrimp. Dry shrimp. Right, we soak that in the mm -hmm. water and at the end. That's yep. So the dry water. shrimp and mushroom water mm -hmm. added to this. Dad said don't overcook or all the oil goes away. Much after this. When you do that, you can add a little bit of light soy sauce. Um, uh, white ground pepper. That's it. As we start on my I'm gonna add them. Look like about half, right? Mm. This is a sandwich. Yeah. The light soy the light soy sauce. You know how to read that, right? Sometimes. Who calls that in it? It's just itself. How many hours must be? Two, three hours the, the mom did it? What? Uh, mushroom. One yeah. hour. Two hours, something to do. More than one hour yeah. because when, when after see, one hour. Half though. a batch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
also need the I also need the dark sun soil laser for the and make sure I have it. Yeah. 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 No, you want to use this so that it's easier to not over, you know, use too much. Yeah. My mom's probably gonna want a picture of the, huh? the dark soil bottle too though. You saw it on it? Is that a Baha? And white pepper, please. White brown pepper. White brown pepper? Yeah, we have it. McCormick. Sorry. Mm, no, that's all right. You want salt? This half of this look, that's a lot. I think it's probably, probably more than, <laughs> more than I we need. I think it's probably too much for for the bag. We'll see. I'm just going to divide this in half and see what it looks like as I stir in the rice. But basically, we didn't reduce that much when we changed from five to four, right? So this is really still a lot. More is good. So, so really, you, it's on medium heat, medium high. Yeah, it, it really, it really doesn't matter. When you put it high, it's really you can hear it. it's too high. Some, you know, this is really nothing. The fact that some guy tried to it's Instagram really not video. trying to cook it more. It just seems to be when it when it warmed up, they mix better. Um. And this, I mean, everything was essentially pre-cooked, so... Yeah, of course, everything already cooked. Yeah, you're just Be warming it up a little. Besides, you still steam it for, for an hour. Right. So there's nothing that's not cooked. Yeah, now, right? The soy sauce. And it's very important. Oh, the, the good stuff. From the from the steamer. Hmm? Mm-hmm. How long did the um, lap chung and the lap yolk steam for? 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. After after boiling, after come up to steam. Mm -hmm. So 20, 25, 30 really didn't matter that much. So for the lamb yolk, you see, as part of them, when I see great big chunk of the fat, mm -hmm. I'm, when I cut it into, you know, size, mm -hmm. I've already trimmed them off. And yet you still have that much. You know, if you don't trim them off, the rice may be too greasy. Did, oh. are, were you supposed to add soy sauce yet or no? I could add some. It, it really didn't matter because I'm going to add it to the rice anyway. Mm -hmm. And that was the light soy sauce. Light soy sauce. The dark soy sauce for the for the rice is just to bring out the color, so they don't look too, you know, didn't have color. So I use so, uh, light soy sauce, and then. Use a dark soy sauce to, to, to add color to the rice. Okay. Normally, I use this size bowl, and one bowl full is really 
uh, good for one batch. But this is almost look a lot more than two two mm -hmm. bowls for we'll, we'll see how big. But that's okay. So this bowl is about right what I use mm -hmm. in the batch. So, so still a little bit back from here. I'm like I'm even. I think it's pretty much pick up here. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look all right. Okay. That's it. And I do this, do the second batch. This big bowl making a lot of rice. When my mother and father came to this country, uh, come, um, migrate to this country, they take everything, including this big bowl. My mother used to be a very, very good cook. She's very capable of cooking. Full table, 12 people. Well, two table at a time. But anyway, just something like this very useful and also this to drain the rice very useful she brought that over too so that's about it and she make this cloth out of sack of rice way back when this is in the 70s rice coming back cloth back and they're not like plastic back nowadays and then uh, they were printing on the cloth she soaked them in bleach and washed them until they're very, very clean and use this as a liner for steaming the rice. Yeah, okay. okay, so we'll, we'll use all this equipment okay. to do. In the past, in the beginning, when I was experimenting with this, I, I drained the rice and for too long and, and <coughs> there's not enough moisture in the rice. So, I drain it and I use it right away. I mix it and cook it right away. So I just put it all the way around so that it drain, drain well. Made in Thailand, I'm quite sure. It's just the right size. That's the thing, you know. My For power, five pounds of rice. I know. I, I don't know how did that happen. Everything everything seems to fall into place. I don't even know if you can buy the uh, basket. I, I'm sure you can. If not, go try to go to the Archie or something. Well, I put half of it. Because the rice at this point is probably fairly uh, soft, easily broken, so that's why I try to stir it half a batch at a time, and then eventually slowly uh, mix them together. Put a little of uh, white ground pepper. soy sauce. Just make sure it's not too 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 salty. And then just a little of dark soy sauce for coloring. Not too much otherwise they, they look too dark. Mm -hmm. Mixed and then you 
the rest of them. Soy sauce. I think the first half might have a little bit too much. So I'm going to put less on the second half. Oh! You, 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 okay, bye. Now we can prepare it. I make three chimneys out of the tomato paste can. Okay. So that, so that steam can come through. <laughs> Strange, huh? Well, you know, experimenting in the beginning, it just won't steam because as soon as it starts to cook, it becomes gooey and, and seal up the cloth. Mm. So steam doesn't come through. By the way, the cloth needs to be wet. After you're done with this, usually what mom did is uh, uh, soak it in. Shall I you boil them? No, I, I, I uh, wash it. Um, I soak it overnight with bleach. And yeah, put it in yeah, a pan with bleach. It become all dark sticky, right? and sticky. oily. No, mm. and also because and maybe that's something you need to learn how to make. Homemade yolk too. I'm sure you can. I'm just you know you can buy uh, uh, Flora gave us some some um, frozen mm -hmm. no good. I think, I think yeah. Brandon's, Brandon needs to uh, figure it's out. It's all recorded, okay? okay? You mm -hmm. guys. Oh. What is that? The uh, Chinese donut. Mm. Because uh, okay, it's two halves. So there's going to be like too low, too too much. Too much. Okay. So now we're ready to to put this rice in there. So. Nup nups. Uh huh. Nothing good always. Every grain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Oh. I have my spatula here. It really didn't matter. So see, minimum overlapping. So make sure the lid will fit in there fine. Do not put this thing on first before you put the lid because you put too much pressure. The element might not. Put it through so that it can get up, hold up better. Okay, so it's ready to go. See? See it good? Oh, yeah. So, here we go. There. Ready. Can you see it on high? Huh? On high or medium high? Or? Uh, high. High? What? Get it. Actually, the more the steam, the faster the higher the steam is better. So, it, it got so, trapped so much heat that that's why I need that. Not necessarily have the pro or the Twelve 
Now set another 30 minutes? Yep. Roll it out. Roll it out. Ah. Uh. <laughs> In the bottom tend to be more moist. The top pan will be less moist and make sure yeah, you want to get a little bowl or well, up there mm. uh -huh. very nice